Good afternoon, everybody. How are you today? It is five o'clock. <laughs> yep, five o'clock on Sunday night, and I am just starting the vlog now. I have been crazy today. So this morning I went to the gym for my usual arms and abs and kickboxing. Burned 872 calories. Then I went right to breakfast with Becky and Sarah because Becky just got home from Costa Rica um, late Friday night and I haven't seen her in a month because she's been traveling. Then uh, after breakfast, we went to Glenn's, one of my favorite, favorite breakfast places. Um, then after breakfast, I came home and kind of just wasn't planning on doing anything like cleaning wise, but started to. I took the sheets and pillowcases off the bed, so I'm doing that. Um, I just lit, I had this candle lit actually on and off all day, lemon drops in a mason jar. My boss got this for me, it's the one I was talking about the other day. So I did like the garbages, I cleaned all the windows, the sheets, I put clothes away, like I just kinda just did things that I wouldn't normally clean. The dishwasher's run, I have to empty it. And then after that, my mom and I went to look for a bridesmaid dress because I still haven't found one for the wedding I'm in until today. So I'm gonna show you guys. I absolutely love it. It's, I, the dress I tried on is actually the color that um, is the wedding color, the bridal party color. So this is it. This is a terrible picture of me, but you guys are gonna have to just deal with it because I can't zoom in either. So, hold on, come on. It's lace and then there's a little ribbon and chiffon and I don't know, I really love it. And my hair is just up today as it is right now. So I kind of like, I kind of like the way that the dress looks with my hair up. So that's good because I don't usually like to wear my hair up um, when I know there's gonna be a lot of pictures taken because I'm very self-conscious about my neck and my ears just because I was teased a lot as a kid. Um, they used to call me giraffe as a kid. So anyways, I am going to start meal prep Sunday. Um, and I just picked up a six pack for myself because I have had such a craving for beer all weekend that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have a beer while I cook. Um, so I am making zoodles and I'm making spaghetti squash ziti. Um, I have the ingredients out here. So yeah, I'm gonna cook, ha turn on some music, have a beer, it is beautiful out, and get my Sunday meal prep done. Eddie finished our pasta sauce without telling me. Basically, throwing off my entire recipe and forcing me to come up with something else on the spot considering I've already started cooking my beef and I have spaghetti squash for the week. And I'm looking at my choices and I don't think there's many options here. So I was thinking like barbecue spaghetti squash, like casserole, but. Ugh, Eddie. <laughs> He didn't even tell me, and I had it in there like specifically for this recipe, so I didn't buy it yesterday. So I just left the juice from the can of diced tomatoes in, um, instead of dumping it, since I don't have tomato sauce, and I'll just use that. It'll be a little different this time around, but I'm gonna add this and the spaghetti squash to the casserole dish, and top it with some shredded mozzarella, and that's how we roll in. Spaghetti squash ZD is ready for the oven. My two lunches this week are zoodle based. So half of this is going to be for cannellini beans, dill, lemon, and feta. And the other half is going to be for chicken meatballs, um, goddess dressing, and zoodles, and probably feta again. Um, just because I have it, so why not? I have lots of it, apparently, that I didn't realize. Recipe number two, zoodles cannellini, dill, lemon juice, onion, and hearts of palm, and then you add the feta when it comes off of the stove top. And this is going to be two meals right here in this pan. Um, and then you add the feta at the very end. I like to add it a little early because I like my feta to get a little melty, but it's going to also be reheated, so you have to keep that in mind. This is a really, really nice, light, refreshing um, lunch or dinner. Uh, it's definitely perfect for spring and summer because it's everything that's in season and the lemon juice is just a nice like sauce slash dressing. So I love this dish. Two lunches done and for this recipe you'll have to go to insperalized.com. It's on there. And now I'm doing chicken meatballs with 
feta, goddess dressing, and zoodles for the last three lunches of the week, or two lunches and tonight's dinner. And the ziti has been finished, it's just chilling in the oven because I really don't have any time to take it out right now or anywhere to put it. So it's okay in there and it's not like it's gonna overcook or anything, it's done. Um, I'm just leaving it in there to sit while I finish. And this is the fastest meal prep I've ever done. And I think because I have the spaghetti squash made already, it saved me a lot of time. Cheers to you guys. Mm. Circus boy, magic hat, so good. Sounds like someone's outside my house. I have my zucchini noodles, the chicken meatballs, and onion cooking right now, and I'm gonna add some of the Annie's Organic Goddess dressing after, and I don't know if this is gluten-free. It's vegan, no, it's not gluten-free. So I was gonna make this for the girls one night, but I'm definitely gonna make the other one that I just showed you guys, the um, hearts of palm cannellini bean one, because that one is amazing, and my mom loved it. Ain't she a beaut? Instead of spinach this time, I added frozen broccoli because I had it in the uh, freezer. And, ooh, this is gonna be good, girls and boys, everybody, even Chance, my co-chef. Give me a little helper. This is some serious meal prepping. Three dinners, three more dinners or lunches, whatever. Two lunches, two lunches, and the dinner for tonight over there. All done in under an hour. It can be done. Put the time aside for yourself. Make the time, just like you do for anything else. If you have to, put it in your planner, put it on the calendar, as long as you get it in and you get your meal prepping done so you can stay on track this week and meet your goals. Nobody else can do it for you, only you. And I know that all of you can do it. I just took the boys down to the docks, sat on them, totally barefoot, not cold, came back up, summertime is playing by Sublime, couldn't be happier right now. And I'm not, I'm not drunk, so I don't think I am, it's my first beer. Only beer, but, ah! Oh, warm weather is finally coming to the best place, Long Island. I've been dreading this part of my work day all day long. Four loads of wash, well, four loads of laundry to fold, but I'm going to give myself a pedicure first, then I'm gonna fold it and watch Scandal. You guys, I just started this show on Friday night and I really haven't mentioned it too much outside of a little bit on yesterday's vlog. I'm completely obsessed. I have been hearing everybody talk about Scandal for a long time. I didn't realize that there was already two seasons. I thought there was only one. But I watched all of season one pretty much Friday night because it's only seven episodes. And I'm on episode five of season two right now because I watched a bunch last night also. It's a really good show. If you have Netflix and you're looking for something new to get into that's still on TV so you could like play catch up, definitely check out Scandal because it's similar to Blacklist in a way, but not really, if that makes any sense. Um, every episode, like there is a main storyline that carries throughout the entire season or the two seasons as what I'm seeing so far but every episode has something different in it. And it's, that's what Blacklist is like also, and I love that show. So um, I'm definitely obsessed with this one too. And for my pedicure and manicure, I'm doing one of my all time favorite colors, Essie's Boom Boom Room. It's the perfect bubblegum pink. All right guys, it's that time of the night where I say goodnight. I am just going to end the day watching some TV in bed, my favorite thing to do before another long, crazy week. Um, I did my nails, I'll show you. Boom Boom Room, one of my faves. Uh, I'm getting into bed with super clean sheets. There is really nothing better, and our room smells so fresh because of this candle. So I guess maybe I do like lemon scents. I never thought I would. Um, I hope you all had a great weekend, and let me know what you did down below whether it's your favorite thing you did or, I don't know, just let me know, I like to know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.